Performing in motion capture is completely different than working like in film or TV. You have only your imagination to rely on. You don't get makeup, you don't get costumes. So you really have to delve into your pure imagination to create the world that you want to create. But it's completely different than working in film and TV, but it's still acting. My name is Richard Dorton. I'm known as the mocap man. I usually tell people if you played a video game, you've probably killed me. I'm a motion capture actor and performer, producer and director. I started doing theater in DC. I did get a, a scholarship and I studied a little bit abroad at Balliol College in England. And then I also started studying stage combat. I was going down the route of being a stuntman. That's really what I wanted to do. I wanted to pursue my stunt career, so I decided I needed to go to California. My first audition, I just got in a stunt agent I thought was gonna be at this famous motion capture place called House of Moves where they had just done stunts for Titanic. My first taste into to what I thought was gonna be a stunt world actually was for an audition for a video game. It was for Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. <laughs> In the audition, you had to walk like Shaggy, act like a gorilla, be Frankenstein. You had to dance, you had to fall down, you had to run into a wall. I ended up booking the game and playing Shaggy and 60 other villains in the game. And that kind of just started my mocap career. Hey! I have here uh, some of the games that I've worked on and there's some of my, you know, prized possessions. Like right here is Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2. And in the final sequence of that, you get to play Darth Vader. So I was one of the first people to ever motion capture Darth Vader in a video game. I've played Wolverine and X-Men Legends, Silent Hill Homecoming. I got to play Pyramid Head and all the creatures in that. I also worked on the God of War series. But this has got to be one of my most prized possessions. This is from Left 4 Dead 2. I play all the boss zombies and all the hero characters in that. And I had all the artists sign this game after the game came out. So this is something I'm really, really proud of. Recently, one of the biggest projects I've been working on is Rogue Company with Hi Res Studios. I started out being an actor creating some of the characters like Dima. It's really funny to see him juggling grenades and then throwing them because I helped create that move. It's one of my favorite moments in the game. I also have expanded into the company and I now work on some of their character reveals. I help cast actors, I help create the, the emotes, the dance emotes, fidgets, idols, all the rogue reveals that you see. I get to work on that. So it's been an incredible journey going from a performer with them to also helping them direct and put the game together. We're here at Fonco Studios, home to a variety of other production companies, but also home here is the Noida Motion Capture Studio. We're gonna go inside, I'm gonna put on the Perception Neuron suit, and we're gonna give you a demo. Fonco is known for working with some incredible artists who work on top major uh, AAA title video games, major motion pictures, they're known for their miniatures, they're known for their special effects, and they're also known for their motion capture. We're here now at the Noidum motion capture stage. Now this is where all the magic happens. Here we go. I'm here in the performance space where James is gonna put me in the Perception Neuron motion capture suit. We're gonna take that motion capture data from Access Studio move it over to the Unreal Engine, where we're gonna create a scene of a rampaging monster versus a robot. So these straps will hold the sensors around the body, and the sensors have gyroscopes, magnetometer, and accelerometer to track and capture his motion data. My name is Rock Nakajima. I'm the president of Noidum International. Motion capture until a few years ago was a very, very elitist technology costing like hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars. Newer technology has come along with inertial suits. All of the technology is in the suit itself. With the Perception Neuron suit that I was wearing, the markers are now sensors. I can now shoot anywhere inside, outside, as long as I'm connected to the laptop. Now you don't need any cameras. And therefore now you have a completely portable system. You're not locked into a location, you could go out in the field, you could go out on the mountain, you could go wherever you want with your laptop and start capturing. 
And you can do that literally in a few minutes. So you just put on the suit, you do a two-step calibration, which literally takes 10 seconds, and now you're capturing data. So we have the Perception Neuron Studio sensors that he's wearing. It's gonna be going into the Axis Studio software, and then we're gonna push that into Unreal to drive the Rampage character and the Crunch robot character to set up a monster fight. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna focus on the two characters that I have to bring to life. Even though they're both giant characters, one's more organic, one's more robotic. So we wanna make sure that I have uh, different movements for each one. Like for the Rampage character, he's more of a monster. He's more of a kaiju. He, you know, he's, he's very physical. He's just really wild. We're gonna go with that, the name of Rampage, and we're just gonna let him riff and just, you know, go crazy. And then let's go over to Crunch. He's now, gonna take care of this monster. I size him up. Oh, I know what to do with this. Get the weapons ready. Fire. All right, so I took your two performances and I put uh, one of your animations on the monster and then I put your other animation on the robot. Adjusted them in space, tightened up the timing a little bit and so now we can see your two characters fight. What's incredible about this too is it just shows that one person, you know, with this kind of suit can do their own kind of motion capture, you know, and we weren't limited to a studio. This is a great space to work in, but you know, if, if I only had space in my bedroom, I could do this in my bedroom. Traditionally, I'm a Mac guy, but during the pandemic, things had to change and I needed to work from home. A lot of this technology runs on PC. I wanted to work in a new way. So the MSI GE76 gave me the chance to do that. You know, it's portable and I can take it anywhere. I don't use it just for work too. I can use it in my personal life. I can use it for email. I can watch videos on it. I can watch YouTube. And you know, I do do my research. So it comes in really, really handy as a personal uh, computer as well as a professional laptop. To me, motion capture is pure imagination. That's what I get to do. I get to use my imagination. I get to use my creativity. And I've been very, very fortunate in this world. Being an, a half Asian man, I was judged purely on my talent. It didn't matter what I looked like. It didn't matter my size. I was purely booking work on my talent. And that makes me feel really, really proud of, of, of myself and what I've done. It's been an incredible journey for me to say that I have made a motion capture career in 20 years and have worked on some of the top games, you know, in, in pop culture. It's a, it's a great honor.